are starting things off with yet another school shooting. This one's in Michigan, and the community there is stunned and devastated after three students were killed in a school shooting yesterday. According to authorities, a 15-year-old, 15, He's a sophomore, opened fire at a high school north of Detroit. It happened at around 1 p.m. Law enforcement responded to the scene within minutes of the first 911 calls. But the teenage suspect has been taken into custody. The victims are 14-year-old Hannah St. Julian, 16-year-old Tate Mirror, and 17-year-old Madison Baldwin. Seven students and one teacher were also hurt. Nancy Chen reports. Police say the suspect is in custody, but so far the 15-year-old is refusing to cooperate. Investigators have searched his home as well, spent the night here at the high school looking for clues, but a motive is still unclear. School shooting at Oxford High School. The first 911 call was made at 12.51 p.m. local time. Over 100 more calls followed. Police officers were dispatched by 12.52 p.m., and in the next two to three minutes, they had the suspect in custody, a 15-year-old sophomore armed with a semi-automatic gun, firing at least 12 rounds. It was loaded at the time and still contained seven rounds of ammunition. When they took it from him, that, again, I believe, interrupted what potentially could have been seven more victims. But before police cleared sheltering students and staff, video from the school showed students inside classrooms during those terrifying minutes. In one video, students can be seen talking to someone on the other side of a locked door who appears to want to enter. Sheriff's office, it's safe to come out. It's safe to come out. Yeah, it's safe to come out. Now we're not willing to take that risk right now. I can't hear you. We're not taking that risk right now. Okay, well, come to the door and look at my bag, bro. No. Yeah, bro. He said, no. he said bro. He said bro. Red flag. Suspicious of the person on the other side, the students run out of the classroom. Go. <laughs> to safety. Slow down, you're fine. Police do not yet know the shooter's motive. I have seen him around the school, and he's like... He's a kid. You know, he's a regular kid that goes to school. Treshawn Bryant, a senior, said the suspect had been bullied and he stayed home from school after hearing threats about a possible shooting. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office says if there were earlier warning signs, they were never notified. Three students were killed Tuesday, including Tate Muir, a 16-year-old student athlete who died on the way to the hospital. We're not going to see him in the hallways anymore. We're not going to see him in class. We're not going to, like, hear his laugh anymore. Cassidy O'Neill is a junior at Oxford High School. She barricaded inside a locked room with her boyfriend and schoolmates. When we heard the shots, it was just kind of like, yeah, I didn't understand that they were, like, gunshots. Like, this is something you see in, like, movies. Like, this doesn't happen at Oxford. This doesn't happen at my school. The sheriff's office says the suspect's father purchased the gun that was used just last Friday. Of the eight surviving victims, three are in critical condition this morning. Local law enforcement and the FBI are now sifting through surveillance video as well as social media for more of an idea of what happened here, Anne-Marie. Nancy, thank you. Mike Campbell from our Detroit CBS radio affiliate joins us now to talk a little bit more about the current state of the investigation. Uh, Mike, you're on the phone. Is there any news on the current condition of the eight people who have been injured? Uh, we have no update on the eight, but we do know that one of them is a 14-year-old female who underwent some extensive surgery for uh, gunshot wounds to the chest and neck and is in very critical condition on a ventilator at this point. Not sure of the long-term status of uh, that victim, but the other victims, we do have two other in critical condition as well, and a number of other victims that were shot and injured, including one, a teacher who is now out of the hospital. The other eight are all students. So we have found out a little bit of information about this suspect. Um, as I understand it, the suspect is in custody on suicide watch and not cooperating. Officials have searched his home as well. Have investigators made any headway on a possible motive? 
No motive at all. In fact, what we have learned this morning, just this morning, is the uh, Oakland County Sheriff, where this uh, school is located in the county of Oakland, uh, walked through the school this morning at uh, shortly after 3 o'clock this morning, actually, and uh, tweeted that he was just overwhelmed with sadness. But he said he realized then that there was this extensive video surveillance system in the school, and they now have actual video evidence, he said, of the entire event, and that the student suspect walked out of a bathroom into the hallway and began shooting yesterday about uh, just before one o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Um, we've been hearing some students say that there were rumors ahead of time uh, that something bad was going to happen at the school. In fact, uh, our, one of our correspondents, the story that we ran earlier, she spoke to a student who said he stayed home from school. Can you tell us any more about these rumors? Well, we've been we have been hearing the same and are working to confirm or deny those those rumors and I actually was just sent a, a, a snapshot a screenshot of a letter purportedly sent from the schools on the 24th, indicating that they were aware of the threats. Now, the letter that I mentioned has no signature on it, so I can't even tell you where it came mm. from. And, of course, with the Internet, anybody could have typed it. But those rumors are persisting, and we're hearing that not only that the students themselves are reporting it, parents are saying that their kids talk to them about it, and some of them, as you mentioned, say that they kept their kids home because of the threat. They believed it that real. So we know a semi-automatic handgun was used. We have learned now that it was purchased by the suspect's father on Black Friday, I mean, just days ago. How uh, Have authorities said whether or not they are considering charging the suspect's father? I don't think he has spoken at all. Of course, the suspect's identity has not been revealed, and, and I presume if the father was to speak, that would you know, sort of reveal the suspect's uh, identity. Uh, but do we know whether authorities are looking at the father? Uh, we talked to the Oakland County Sheriff this morning, and he said that they're, they're obviously investigating everything at this point. But he did say that the gun was purchased legally and then was illegally in the hands of the alleged shooter at the school. So it sounds like there's some separation there. But obviously, our, our own uh, legal analyst has said, you know, it all depends on, on how that gun transferred hands. That will determine whether the father might be in jeopardy of some charges here. All right, Mike, thank you so much. You're welcome.